Today on Fresh Vintage Garage, we're checking out the one and we're asking ourselves, could this be the one scan tool for you? Forgive our silly play on words here. We didn't name this thing. You have Top Don to thank for that. But this is the Top Don One scan tool, pro scan tool. They even put one on the actual Bluetooth dongle. It has J2534 enabled on it. With a whole host of features, everything from 50 plus service reset functions, ECU coding, topology, FCA auto out, the list goes on. We're gonna jump outside, join us as we dive into the diagnostics and show you all of the capabilities of this guy right now. So we survived the rain and we're inside our 2016 Subaru Forester. We plugged into the OBD2 port with the Bluetooth dongle already. Let's dive into the diagnostics and we'll show you everything right now. Taking a look at the home screen here, it's pretty clean, cut and dry, swiping left and right. There's really nothing else to look at there. We're gonna go ahead and dive right into the diagnostics. So I'm gonna click on Subaru, type in Subaru, I should say. Now, the last time we tried this off camera, we had to get our VCI set up, although you can see in the top right corner, it does say VCI. I'm gonna to touch that button there. It does show that it is connected. And we're gonna to go to Automatic, North America. We're gonna read our VIN. And we're gonna go ahead and hit Confirm. So there's our year, make, and model, our 2016 Subaru Forester. There's no manual option in here. You have to go to auto scan. We've looked for a manual function, but when we click OK here, this is what gives you the option to go between topology mapping and a list. So this is what most of America, so to speak, is familiar with. All you shop owners and guys who work in a garage every day, you're used to this list. Topology is just a visual representation of that. We're gonna hit auto scan on the screen. While this is going through, we're gonna talk about, this is a 10.1 inch screen. It does have a 10,000 milliamp hour battery. Big selling point there for you shop owners. Guys who are in the garage diagnosing cars all day, this will have to stay plugged in a lot less versus something with a 6,000 milliamp hour battery as an example. Uh, four gigs of RAM, 128 gigabytes of storage, and stick around because you can see the top fix AI, the little robot in the top right corner of the screen. We're gonna check that out in just a moment or two here. Also stick around because we'll explain why there's different colors on the actual uh, Bluetooth dongles. And taking a look here, we have a bunch of red, some green. So you can see on the top right corner of the screen, we have normals green and a fault detected is red and then there's no response. This is going out and touching every single module in the car. I'm gonna go into ECM, that's the most common one. And same thing, if we wanted to do that, we can just come over here. So I'm gonna click on ECM and then enter system. And we have a bunch of different stuff here. We're gonna read our data trouble codes. So let's go in and do that. Now this says no data trouble codes, which makes sense because we had a green from the ECM there. We can do data stream here. So let's go ahead and click on data stream. We'll do all data. Memory serves correct. This car is capable of outputting 181 different data points. So we wanna see how many the top Don one can pick up. Stick around a little bit later in the video. We're gonna go find the FCA Auto Auth. I'm not sure if it's an actual software package that comes with the Top Don One or if you have to buy it, but we're gonna go dig around in the software and find that and we'll show you. All right, now just full disclosure, the engine's not running, but you can see the live data coming out of the car and I do not see a one of 181. We're not gonna take the time to count all these. So I'm gonna start the car. I will say this is a cold start, so forgive us car. We'll, we'll let you build up some oil pressure here, but. You can see the, for example, the ignition timing advance, and let's just choose several of these. Target engine speed, ah, no one cares about RPMs, there we go. Oil temperature, let's see if the oil temperature goes up and the ambient air temperature, 50 degrees, that sounds about right. Now, we have on the bottom right corner of the screen, you see we can combine graphing and graphing, so we can choose up to fifth, or five, I'm sorry, six different data points. Let me choose one more, absolute load value, we'll choose that one. Now you can see we're over our com you know, co combination or combined. We can't actually go over four, but we can do graphs. So let's hit graph and I'm gonna just blip the, uh, blip the throttle there. Try and get this to idle down a little bit. Very cool to see the you know, side by side graphing capability here. And it says up to six pieces of data can be, we can actually record. Now I wanna show you the combined. So let's take, uh, let's just take two of these off of here. Oil temperature, all right, oil temperature is already up 59 degrees. We'll do combined. So this gives you the ability to see the actual data coming out of the engine. If you're chasing that weird electrical gremlin, maybe there's some kind of sensor, just something randomly happening. Maybe, maybe it's like a short and it's causing an issue in the electrical system or it's triggering some kind of uh, code. And it's really cool to see the actual data coming out of the car in real time here. I'm gonna let the car run for just another minute or two so we don't turn it off when it's super cold. But if you wanted to record this 
on the bottom right corner you can click record and it will actually give you a little record screen that pops up there and then I just hit stop there we go and it'll allow you to save that let me go ahead and turn the car off and we'll turn it back on now taking a look in here we also have active test and special functions so let's go in here this is specific to the ECM and we'll show you the actual like if we're going to body control module I'm assuming these will definitely be different but these are specific to the engine management we're going to special functions now this is again specific to the actual ECM let's get back out of here let's go find the actual BCM we should be able to find it in the list here and so we can see BCM on the bottom left. And again, if you just want to come in here, find BCM. We'll go into BCM this way. There we go. So we can read data trouble codes, data stream, blah, 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 all the usual stuff we've seen here. Top Down software is very, very fluid and smooth. They do a really good job of building this to where it works well. And it works with the hardware that it's on. A lot of scan tools we see, they just don't have enough memory or RAM, and they get sluggish, especially after you do a few software updates. But this thing's running really, really well. So if we wanted to clear the data trouble codes on the bottom right corner, we can click that button. We can also do a report. I didn't show you that earlier, but if you are a shop and you're thinking about buying this to generate reports, maybe email a customer or send them a PDF, you could do that here and showcase what you found in the vehicle. You can even attach images to the actual report. Let's take a look at the active tests. And so we have horn output. The neighbors always love when we do this, but we'll just do this. So here's my hand. There we go. Neighbors are always like, what are those guys doing over there? <laughs> we'll do the door locks too. Let me see if I can find the actual door locks. I'll go back in the topology. Not that we need to go that way, but let's enter the system just to show you how quick and fast this is. So back at the active tests here, we've not seen this say central lock locking before, but it does the same thing. Let me actually unlock the doors here. So we're gonna do all data and wait for this to load. And so here's my hands. And so really cool to see you have that ability. Keep in mind, this is specific to your make and model vehicles. The newer the vehicle, the more functionality you can get in here. Like this actually says power, lift, gate, unlock, uh, trunk unlock. So some of these will actually let you open the rear lift gate and then newer cars, especially if you have a CAN bus and in, in protocol inside the car, it will let you put the windows down and do a whole host of other stuff. But let's jump back out of here to the home screen and we'll finish up inside. We just want to show you a few more things. This is zoomable, and let me go into TLM. So we have a whole host of different things in here. If we wanted to clear the codes, we could just click the button. Now, while we're in here, let me show you, you can see read data trouble codes, data stream, active tests. So this is specific to the actual TLM system inside the vehicle. Let me show you the top fix AI here. Now I will make note that on the screen that does, this is Android 12 and this is Gboard. It's the same um, actual keyboard I have on my phone. I have a Pixel cell phone and you should be able to, like it should be hearing me speak and talk to text on the screen, but I'm pretty sure the top down one does not have any kind of microphone in it or it's not enabled. And I couldn't find, I dug around in the software. I can't find anywhere where you can actually activate and you know, turn on a microphone. So I can't, I'm speaking again, trying to do speech to text on the screen and it won't work. So I'm just gonna type in my motor is running run, uh, rough and I'm gonna misspell rough. Oh, it auto corrected. There we go. What do I do? There we go. Forgive me, first grade uh, question here. I know a lot of you mechanics are rolling your eyes right now, but we wanna see what this does. Okay, so it gives you a, what I would feel pretty much like a Google summary, dare I say that. I'm not sure if they're pulling this from ChatGPT or who they're partnering with for this data. It could just be data that they're getting off of like an actual Google search results, but uh, running rough, ind indicative of several issues, fuel quality, spark plugs. So, you know, a lot of very, very low hanging fruit stuff here. Uh, so let's, let's ask it to see here. I have a code, a code P, whoops. P0420, what is this for? We'll see what it does. Now this is content generated by Topfix. 
I'm not sure where they're getting that data from. And again, you know, this is very a very common code, P0420 catalyst system. Basically means your catalytic converter's on the way out or something like that. So uh, could have O2 sensor issues, exhaust leaks, blah, blah, blah. But nine times out of 10 with that code, we found our experience is the catalytic converter is toast. But it's cool to see that it provides, if, if you are a, an actual DIYer and you pick this guy up, this will give you a really good path forward on how to proceed. I will make note that you could probably get a lot of the same data off the internet. So if you wanted to click the actual uh, Chrome button here, you could just go right to the same thing, P0420 code, punch it in, and you probably get a lot of the same information. But the Topfix AI works well enough. It seems to be pretty quick. I will note that we are somewhat far away from the house, so it might run a little faster if you're in your garage and you actually have uh, a little bit stronger Wi-Fi connection. Let's go all the way back out on the top right corner. We're gonna go to exit. We'll go back to the home screen. It just beeped at me. It says, make sure you don't uh, leave your VCI in your customer's car so they can go put it on eBay. And let's see, yeah, right there was a little note about it. Bluetooth disconnected. And we're back at the home screen. On the top left corner, we have updates. We did some updates for Subaru. We did some basic firmware updates. Also on the left-hand side of the screen, we have, you need the BT Mobile Pro S. This is sold separately, but it allows you to do battery testing, crank testing, charging testing. If you've ever gone to your local um, auto parts store, I know advanced auto parts, they'll do a free battery test, but this is very, very similar to what they do. You just have to have the BT Mobile Pro S. It's a separately sold item by Top Don. And if you wanna do a demo, no one ever wants to do that. So let's go to driver preferences. Let's see what's in here. So we actually don't have anything saved. I just want to see if I type in Subaru, we'll see what happens here. Yeah, see, so there's nothing really saved in here. VIN, auto VIN, enter VIN. So if you want to put information in here, you can. Maintenance, this is where you see all of the 50 plus, and let's count them up. So you have one, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Did I get that right? It looks like there's 57. So there's a ton of stuff in here. And if you're looking for maintenance reset functions in a one-stop shop scan tool. This is your guy here. This is very, very cool to see. They even have a 48 volt MHEV test. So for your partially hybrid type vehicle test, they have that in here. They have a DC to DC test. It's very cool to see the diversity. They even have a compressor test for EVs in here. Now that's very, very you know uh, niche and nuanced. Um, you know, electronic parking brake, you're gonna use every day injector coating. People are using that almost every single day in shops anymore. Oil reset, the list goes on. I won't you know sit here and read all these off. But you, uh, let's take a look at the rest of the stuff here. We have a library. Let's go in here. So the usual suspects in here. We have a repair guide, TSBs. Now this says tech service bulletins. That's actually interesting. Let's see what we can find here. I'm kind of wondering where they get this data from. Let's see. And yeah, we'll just do engine. There we go. Subsystem. And we'll go to engine again. So we'll see what comes up. Okay, so I mean, these are older TSBs, they're not new, but there's some TS, that's actually kind of interesting. And so looking through the rest of this, we have DLC, if you're not sure where it's at in the vehicle you're working on. Another way to access Chrome, again, there's a little Chrome button on the bottom center of the screen here. And then we have official Top Down One support in a community. And let's look at our user info. Not much going on in here. This is where you can double check and work on your VCI management. There is user info, workshop data management. So basically just all the settings, stuff of the world. And going back to the home screen, really, really like this thing. I tell you what, let's jump out of the car. We'll go avoid the rain as best we can. And we'll jump downstairs and unbox this thing and show you what you get. And forgive me, before we go downstairs, I completely glossed over the mall. So I'm gonna click on mall here. And the reason I wanted to do this is I completely forgot about the FCA. I apologize to you FCA uh, auto auth guys. I want to show you the software so we have software package there's nothing in here but they do have gateways and this is where you see fca listed so just keep in mind take these prices with a grain of salt the video you can see it at some point in the future so these will definitely change but there's nothing in here for nissan there's nothing in here that we see i'm trying to refresh the page there's nothing in here for fca if you look at svg there's a price for uh, gateway access there so our assumption is, and please know this is a big assumption on our part, that the Top Down One comes with FCA and subscription to it, at least at, to start, maybe a year or something like that. But we'll reach out to Top Down and we'll put their answer, yes or no, and how long, if it does have a software subscription for FCA, in the actual video description of the video you're watching now. That being said, we're actually going to jump out of the car, run downstairs, and let's get this guy unboxed right now.
Wanted to take a moment and mention our website, scantooldepot.com. Whether you need TPMS equipment, batteries, testers and chargers, smoke machines, ADOS equipment, scan tools, and a whole bunch more, check it all out at scantooldepot.com today. We're back downstairs now, and before we unbox the Top Don 1, I just wanted to shout out the other lineup of Top Don products. If you've never heard of the brand Top Don, they have a ton of scan tools. They have an RD Diag 500 here, they have the 600, they have a bunch of scan tools between this and the Top Don 1. There's also a Top Don 1 Pro and a whole Phoenix lineup. If you haven't seen those, definitely check them out. Also, we have thermal imaging cameras. We have their TC View and the TC005 here. We also have, you probably already spotted it, the Top Scan Pro and Top Scan Lite. You can check all these out on our website, scantooldepot.com. We also have videos on all of this stuff, so we'll definitely throw those links for those videos down in the description of this video you're watching right now. All right, let me get this stuff out of the way, and then we'll unbox the top down one next. Let's get to actually unboxing this guy. And when I say unboxing, what actually shows up to your doorstep is this cardboard box. And then you pull this cardboard box out of that cardboard box. And then you pull this case out of those two boxes. So you got your full unboxing experience. Big thank you to Top Don for sending this thing over, sponsoring the video. Really, really appreciate the partnership with them. Taking a look inside here, we have our actual VCI you saw earlier in the video. Now, just a note, this one's bronze, orange. We got the exclusive color here, and honestly, we reached out to the top down. What's the different colors? What do they mean? And we, there's one that's purple, I believe, and there's one that's yellow. We just mentioned that because we figured out that there's really no difference. They just put different colors on them. So don't think you're getting a higher or lower tier. Just wanted to shout out the colors or just they're putting different colors on the VCI. That's it. Take a look at the rest of this. We have the big guy here. I'm just going to save that for last. We'll pop this open. I would say there's not too much in here. Let me just rotate this. There we go. There's not too much in here. If I can get that to stay open. The actual charger. I'm not going to take them off, but the charger's in here and the actual charging brick. And then in here is a little bit more of the same. Let me see if I can get that to not fall. We're seeing this. This is the second time we've seen this on a scan tool. This is basically, for all intents and purposes, an extension cord. It's a weird thing to say. Literally, just an extension cord. So, and then you also have another USB A to USB C cable. Let me just set that stuff over here, and I will pull out the top. Done. Let's see here. There we go. You also have your packing list and paperwork in here that no one ever reads, but make sure you read it because your serial number and stuff is in there. Like you saw on the video, this thing's top notch. Really, really cool. Very, very well done. If you've not heard of Top Don and you're this far in the video, two things we ask. One, subscribe to Fresh Vintage Garage. Really, really please appreciate it. And also, make sure you check them out. We have a ton of videos on Top Don. They're doing everything right. The research and development, they're building quality products. The software on these things works very, very well. And we're not just blowing smoke here. We've used so many of these things and other scan tools that if this didn't work well, we would tell you. That being said, definitely check them out. We'll leave a link for this in this video's description if you want to pick one up. Or maybe the RD Diag 600. Not everyone needs something at this level. Also, the top scan, really, really solid way to go for an actual scan tool. That being said, we appreciate you watching. If you like scan tools, if you like shop equipment, if you like keeping your car certified fresh and on road, Fresh Vintage Garage is your channel. Like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.